Hey guys, welcome to 60D Studio, and today we're going to talk about camera rigs. So one of the reasons why I really like to take a camera rig out on most of my shoots is that it really helps to stabilize my footage whenever I'm shooting. One of my main problems whenever I'm freehanding my camera is that I tend to get really shaky footage. And a camera rig will really help to cut that down because it gives three points where it mounts onto your body. Both of your hands and it mounts onto your shoulder. And by doing that, it really, it really is so much better than just having two points where, where it's mounting onto your body. Now, this camera rig here does not have a camera on it because I'm using that camera to record this episode. However, I'm going to go and show you later on in the series what this looks like once it's all built up. And then, and also through this series, I'm going to show you how to go and build one of your own. Now this camera rig has a couple of things that are really nice about it. It has a quick release plate on it, so I can just slide off my camera and slide it back onto another rig or onto a tripod if I ever need to. The other thing that's nice that I have here is that I have a follow focus that I can attach to my lens and then I don't have to go and reach my hand all the way around to the front of the camera to go and focus. I can just turn this knob right here. And that's pretty standard on most rigs, but I'm not going to be talking about all those upgrades because all I'm really wanting to talk about is this base piece right here. I'm going to be taking this piece off and we're going to be talking about it. So all you have to do is twist this, this knob on the bottom. Take this off and uh, we'll be talking about this later. But for now, this is the rig that you'll get when you order it. Um, this is known as the Spider Steady. It goes along a couple of other names, but it ranges between $40 and $60 on Amazon. And one of the really nice things about it is that you can collapse it up, throw it in your bag, and you know, open it back up when you're on set and you really don't need to go and uh, worry about putting everything together. It go, fits in a very nice small area and it's, it's, it's fairly strong for what it is. Now, it will not go and replace a multi-thousand dollar rig that things like Coro Digital, Freddy W, people like that use. That This is not a replacement for that. But, for what it is, it's very nice. A couple of things I don't like about this rig, because it is really, really cheap, um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can expect because uh, you get when you get what you pay for, basically. Um, I found that whenever I'm using it in cold weather, um, you know, the the joints tend to really loosen up. Um, you know, I, I actually get afraid that my, it'll fall off or fall apart even during during really cold weather. But we're talking about like you know, 20 degrees outside when you really shouldn't be shooting at all, because um, it's not fun in that weather. Um, I find that the grips tend to just slide off really easily during in the cold weather. Um, when you're using it in, in warmer weather though, these things stay on and it's really, it, there, there's really no problem at all. But for the most part, you know, I have, I, those are, those are just really minor issues um, that have really not impacted me all that much. I could just see it if you go off and shoot in a place like uh, Alaska, Northern Canada, places like that where you, you really want, wouldn't want to use something like this. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. Over the next couple of episodes, though, I'm going to be going and talking about uh, how to go and build your rig up from here, and uh, what all you need, and how to do it really cost-effectively, and uh, without having to spend an arm and a leg for everything you need to have a really basic, fu fully functional rig. And I'll also sh show you a couple of examples of things that I've done with my rig that uh, I think are pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, if if you want to go and see any of those episodes, there'll be uh, links up in the top of the video and in the description. If you want to go and see uh, any of my other videos or a link back to the channel, uh, you know there'll be annotations somewhere here. And uh, if you subscribe, like, and share this video, it would really help me out, me on my channel. Uh, show it to your friends, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.